Would you like to be my helper? All right, but first you have to close your eyes. Next we go to the circus. I'm afraid someone has had a very bad day. Elephant sad? I expect so, little miss, but not much longer. Death, Elsie and the circus elephant, wandered in tranquillity, each silent in their own thoughts. There was no sound of crunching leaves as they walked, for the travellers were but spirits in the autumn night. The littlest one was displeased with something. It showed in her tiny face, which was presently scrunched up in perplexion. What's on your mind? Death asked Elsie. Bark as the elephant made an idle hump with his trunk. Why they do that? asked Elsie. Why did who do what? Death returned. He was thinking of the next name on his list, and whether it should be saved for later. He was not certain he could be kind to this one, and little girls should not see such things, neither, for that matter, should elephants. Elsie huffed impatiently and pointed to the deep scars and scabs from years of shackles on Barker's ankles. These would fade as the creature forgot them, and indeed, they were a little less severe than had been just moments ago. Ah, said Death in understanding. In answer to that I can only say that the circus men are merely people, little miss, and people do not yet understand the feelings of other creatures. Most of them don't anyway. Elsie frowned. Why he not get away? He tried, was Death's answer. They continued their journey in silence for a time until a very low and wrinkly voice interrupted the quietude. It said, I think I was very fond of peanuts once. Yes, I believe you were, Death replied. Barkus humped his trunk again. I do not think that I can tell you how delighted I would be if I were to have a peanut now. I like peanuts, Elsie quietly agreed. Then I'm happy to tell you, said Death with a smile, that where we are going you can have all the peanuts you wish, and you may have them forever and forever, if you like. Barkus the elephant and Elsie the child were both very pleased, and Death was pleased for them. But in his heart, whatever and wherever his heart might be, he was also a little sad. It was time. <laughs> 